mark our human interest, we are still with our guest, Miss Olivia Kido or Miss O. This week, Olivia talks about how she made her dreams come true, her religious state, and her advice for new entrepreneurs. Did you dream 14 years ago, and did that dream come true? Yeah, so I, I, I remember that uh, maybe 14 or maybe 13 or 14 years ago, I had this journal. I wrote everything that I want to do, like all my dreams. And then once I reached that, I would, you know, check it. Oh, you were checking yeah, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I remember, like, I want to have a, like a spa. I want to have, like, how many rooms, this treatment and that. And the Lord has blessed me with you know, so much more. Olivia explained how her tithing made her success possible. I remember a client of mine said that, Miss so do you ever tithe? You know, I like, uh, ever do that. I said, what's that? What, what do you mean by tithe? I don't even have any idea what that means. Is that really real? And then, uh, and then, I, and then she said that, just try it. And then she, she gave me the word in Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. It says that, give your tithes to the storehouse, which is the church. Um, test me on this, says the Lord. And I will open the windows of heaven, pour out so many blessings. There's not enough room to be seen here. So what happened was I made $500 in a week before. And so when I went to church, the 10% of $500 is $50, right? So I would put on the check $50, I would erase it, put $30, oh, $40 na lang kaya. You know, like I wasn't sure. So I was doing um, tithing for one year. And then I said, Lord, how come my income like a year ago was $500 a week? And then how come now it's still $500 a week? It's, it's not, you know, it's not increasing. And then when I opened the Bible, the Lord says, I love it. I, I love a cheerful giver. And I said, oh no, that's not me. You're not, expecting. Yeah, I, I was expecting and I was cheerful. I was just doing this because I just was, Yeah, oh yeah, but I mean, the heart doesn't, you know, the heart wasn't right. So you, you attribute much, I noticed, attribute much to whatever success that you have to, oh, to your faith, to God. Yeah, 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 that's why you cannot boast, you know? Starting a business, as I mentioned earlier, most often they're not really difficult, and some are successful. Some don't even uh, survive, but yours is successful. Um, talk to me about the difference. I think the first five years is so important, like where you position yourself. The first five years is like, that's where the, a lot of struggles really happens. Like if you're gonna like, push slower, or you're gonna give up. You know? So for, for a startup, Businesses, if, if, if the first five years are so critical, as you said. Tell me about the things that you know, people that would be watching the show. Um, the things that are maybe just three to five things that they would they, they should be looking at. The most important thing I say I, is um, like give your plans to the Lord, and everything that you do will succeed. Lift up the plans to the Lord. Lord, take care of this plan. This is what I want. I don't know if this is your plan, but. This to direct me the steps. Do something that not a lot of people do. For example, I'm in the spa, right? I have to do something that not a lot of spas are doing. I have to like put myself in a situation where when clients come to visit me, they would say, that's the best facial I've ever had. Um, thirdly, be excellent. Like we cannot be uh, parang half baked on what we do. So it has to be like, the best all the time because that's your reputation. Connect with people who has brains. I mean, the bar. you have to pick up their brains. Sometimes I just want to like have coffee with somebody who's very intelligent because I want to pick up their brain. What are they thinking? Why are they successful? I'm trying to remember. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, that's because I really miss you guys. You really have a lot of sound bites. <laughs> Next goal, my dream, mm -hmm. yes. is to have my uh, products in the parking stores. I think that's my goal. Oh, wow. yeah. that's a God willing, like if the Lord will bless us with that, I'll be so happy. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing a facelift on all the uh, outward look of the product. So that's the that's what we're doing now to prepare ourselves to be in the parking stores. Wow. From humble beginnings to 
where you are now. Um, I hope that all of the followers um, that will be watching on this show would um, not only um, be energized but also be inspired. Thank you so much Thank you so for this opportunity. I'm so happy and uh, I've learned a lot from you and whatever you will be doing in the future, I really pray that um, God will grant all the desires of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. What are the things that she had said that you have heard that really stood out that you do, that like you would remember? I think the most enjoyable part of was watching your dreams and it was a hard time that you had to make it true. Uh, Five years working hard <laughs> to do something different than others, right? Right, 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 right. Wow. Yeah. You never change. Yes. You're always nice.